Hmm, this is an interesting intro. We got Smudger and Duke. Which I believe this is from the episode Grandpa, where Duke's giving Smudger a lecture about coming off the rails so many times. Ha 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 interesting cutscene. What's going on, you guys? This is Andrew Roboto here, and welcome to Five Nights of Smudger's Remastered Work. This is the updated version of the original and buggy version that I previously played, which was so terrible that I couldn't beat Night 5 and I was never able to beat the game. But anyways, this is of course the first game in the Final Fantasy Smarters Remaster series, and it is made by the Fire 2, the creator of the series, and this is the remastered version of Final Fantasy Smarters 1 made by... Big Travi, which, as well as all the other Final Smarters games, and the upcoming in development Smarters 1 for other games. So, yeah. So, anyways, without further ado, we'll start a new game with Pseudo Zon, of course. Yes, delete save data. Reopen, help wanted. Any button? Alright, the article. The mid Railway has been reopened after being closed down and abandoned since 1947. New engines have been brought, bought on, I mean, or sorry, brought onto the railway, what it's supposed to say. That's a typo there. New engines have been brought onto the railway, but there is no one, but there is one that had remained there after it closed. The little green engine, which is named as Smudger, for those who don't know, was turned into a generator, but is hoped to be rebuilt into a full working engine soon. Since he was the only engine that was left there, we are now renaming the railway after him, Smudger's Railway. We need a security guard to work the night shift from 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. To watch the cameras for thieves. Are you the right person for the job? Well, clearly I am because I am because I'm playing the game, so clearly I'm the right person. Night one, here we go. That smile from Smudger's menacing. On to night one. Let's see what that's talking for us. I do apologize, I'm adjusting my camera a little bit. Bear with me. Uh, hello there. All right, Welcome we got a phone call. Uh, the job by the newly opened uh, the Railway, which has now been renamed. Ooh, nice cameras. Your job is to watch the cameras for any criminal activity. Your shift lasts from 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. Um, we have also put a lot more cameras around, as we discovered some underground mines. And we also built a new building for the office. The previous office was in a trailer home and had super limited power during the week. He actually had a previous night guard work there and kept running out of power. And after a second night, he just quit. Kind of the nose. had a lot more time to work on the power supply. So let me explain how it works. The lights and the cat <laughs> on smudger's on nose. Power supply, while the doors run on the building power supply. Because they need more power to run. Party is moved. Hopefully it doesn't happen. From anyone that's trying to rob the place or attack you, even though that's also very funny. I wouldn't be so sure about that. You'll see a piston system is set up for the mine cameras. Yeah, the piston, I saw it. Which camera numbers 12, 13, 14. On those cameras, there are closed and open buttons. These are used because we found that now there's a way to your office using the mines. So if you see anyone in there, just close the mine anyone from getting in the office, but make sure you charge the pistons as well, as shutting the pistons will also drain the pistons power supply, and if the pistons run out, you will lose the ability to close the pistons for the whole night, which might make you vulnerable for anyone trying to get to you, but again, that is a very unlikely. Again, anyway, I would not be so sure about that. The section of the mines, there's a lot of wood rubble about, so if anyone does try to get in, you'll probably hear wood falling over. Just like with the original Final Smudgers game and the old version of the remastered game, Proteus is the only one active. And obviously, if we if he comes to the door, we gotta close it. Now, these knights are pretty fast, actually. And I just saw Proteus move. I heard the bashing sound. Okay, so we got some pretty fast knights. That's actually a good thing. 
The original remastered game, they were cart. The whole game was cart. Graphic. The whole game's graphics were cartoonish. But in this game, they look more realistic, like with the original first game. Which I do like this version better, though. It's got better graphics. Hopefully, it'll be easier for me to beat, and it's like less buggy. Cause the original game I played, the original um, remastered game, was really buggy. Oh, Proteus. Okay, gotta close the door. And just like the first game, if the warning light is red, they're there. If it's green, they left. Okay. Okay, so Proteus comes from the left door, just like in the original. I mean, because the mechanics are obviously the same, so... This game is definitely... The game mechanics are definitely familiar from the first game. So, yeah. Which I've played the, the original Final Fantasy Smarters game. I did it back in 2017. As as well as um, Final Fantasy Smarters 2 and 3. In fact, I played all three games back in 2017. Final Fantasy Smarters 4 I played back in 2019. So this game's definitely bringing back memories from the first game. Definitely reminded me of the first game. Oh, hi, Proteus. Why do you have that worried look on your face? I think it's because Proteus knows that mine is haunted, because the mine is a reference from the episode of Percy and the Haunted Mine, where the mine, like, collapses and it just gets buried underground. So, yeah. I definitely do get the reference, because I remember that episode in Season 6 of the TV series. Thomas and Thomas. Okay, Proteus? Nope. Pretty good jingle. Okay, do we get a cutscene? Okay. So this cutscene is familiar because this is from the episode, Gra again, from the episode Grandpa, where Duke, where Smudger, Duke is telling Stuart and Falk in the story of Smudger getting turned into a generator. And this is the part where he's getting told by the workmen he's going to get turned generate, into a generator. You better not. Classic line from the first game. Okay. Since I got time, let's take on night two. This is going to get more and more interesting. And I assume we're going to deal with Bertram, because in the original game, night two is when we start dealing with uh, Bertram. I'm assuming that's going to be the case for this game. Alright, we get a phone call. Uh, hello, Derek. How was it last night? I hope it wasn't too much of a problem, I hope. Anyways, Had no I problems at all. Thank you for asking. Yes, I've already noticed that. Can be used to your advantage. If someone is behind the door and it's closed, you want to know if someone's still there. Okay, Bertram's moving. There he is. Scruffy too. Oh. oh god. I forgot about Scruffy for night two. Jesus Christ. Oh, Scruffy jump scares you in this game when he comes in the office and starts laughing? Oh, interesting. Uh, I forgot we were dealing with Scruffy 2 on night two. 
And there's Smudger standing in front of my dead body. Great. So apparently with Scruffy in this game, unlike the original game where he just disables the doors, in this game, he disables the doors, then kills you if you put up your camera. Okay. That's weird, because in the original game, Scruffy doesn't kill you. Okay, so we gotta keep an eye out for Scruffy, too. I forgot about that Scruffy was active on night two. I forgot about that. And we have to be very quick about closing the mines. Scruffy are active for night two, just like the original game. And of course, for Bertram, he'll come to the right door, which you gotta close it. Is there Scruffy? He will go to one of the three mines, and you have to close the mine and charge the piston. What is in there? Scruffy's there, so I gotta close the mine. And I gotta go recharge the piston. Okay. Okay, Scruffy left, so that's good. But I gotta recharge the piston, because Thumper's there. And I don't believe... Thumper will kill you like in the original. Because he doesn't kill you. He's just a character that re that you gotta recharge the piston. Get scruffy. And now recharge the piston. Team Proteus or Bertram, yes, that's, that's good. Okay, Scrappy left, so that's good. Oh, I didn't mean to close that one. Bertram! Okay, Bertram's jump scare just scared me. Okay, Bertram left, so that's good. Oops, Scruffy. Gotta deal with him. There you go. And I gotta recharge the piston. And then check for Proteus. Because I dealt with Bertram already. Now I gotta deal with Scruffy and recharge the piston. Scruffy left. Ah, Shadow Smudger!
test them. Checking for Proteus. I haven't had to deal with Proteus and I've only had to deal with Bertram at the doors. And we beat night two. Night two completed. There we go. Wonder what the cutscene's gonna be. Yep, Smudger has been turned into a generator, just like in that episode, the episode Grandpuff. Alright. I'm coming for you. Okay, that's a typo right there. It's supposed to say... That's a typo right there. It's supposed to not be spelled with a name. Yeah, this game's got typos in it, I'll tell you that. Alright, so, we will take on Nights 3 and 4 in the next video. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button, also comment and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you've given me. Hit the bell to receive all notifications of upcoming videos on my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.